Water is one of those things that's essential for life. It cuts across all, all aspects of, of public life, private life, business, and so on. The One Water Movement has really taken off in the last 10 years. Uh, I think uh, you know the, the issues around water scarcity led to looking at water reuse, which led to a connection between wastewater and drinking water, and then uh, looking at the uh, nutrient pollution in our uh, rivers and lakes uh, led uh, water people to talk to agriculture because nutrients were coming in from agriculture. And I think the response has been great to see communities working together with the same goal of clean water, which no one can be against clean water. We really need to be focused on water and I really see things as a collaborative project. It's not that one person has the answer, it's we all have to be working together. The technology that's available to farmers today is, is pretty interesting and to have urban people learn about that, that's an interesting transaction. And then, and then for farmers and, and ag retailers upstream to go downstream, and to learn about, you know, flooding issues and drinking water issues, and and what are what are the uh, stormwater issues and the and the permitted wastewater treatment people and the importance of of those utilities being able to perform day in and day out, you know, when, because we depend on their services, you know. So then, how does agriculture and the urban relate? And, w and once you get those relationships go and then, then it gives me tremendous hope that we're going to make a difference. And I think those urban voices and rural voices have a lot to offer each other when we think about, you know, not only in terms of, okay, what does it take to be a water steward in a rural area? What are farmers doing to care for the land and care for the water? Similarly in urban areas, what are people already doing that folks in the rural areas may not be aware of? And then um, I think there are also other common, you know, there are other reasons why understanding one another better in urban rural areas is just going to make for uh, a better better society and a better world you know so water is one of many entry points and many benefits i think it's really important to um, get get our next generation of leaders and doers and that's really the thing that i've seen here is that uh, there's it, it's a really nice mix of uh, more experienced i won't say older uh, professionals interacting with uh, professionals at the start of their careers, and that's very, very valuable and doesn't happen enough. It's so exciting for me to see the, these diversity of water issues, and again, the, the, the diversity of voices and perspectives, you know, whether you're a local uh, soil and water conservation district person or a water utility staff person or an extension educator or a you know, person that's doing research that's informing these particular um, efforts or an artist, um, you know, like it takes all of these voices and we're looking at um, different topics. I think it's an approach that is very effective when we're promoting conservation or we're bridging or bringing people together is talking about the bright spots, talking about what we have in common, um, leading with uh, positive things that we can do, changes that we can make. Um, those are the things I think that are really going to change the world. What's exciting to me is having it all here and, and you know working together in one conversation and then also you know already hearing what's going to come out of this you know conversation in one time in one place that is you know going to continue to spread.